What's going on there? The bobbies won't like it if I get too close to that. Unless I look like a council worker, I suppose. I wouldn't get too close to that. You're liable to get quite a shock. What's gone wrong here, Constable? What's gone wrong, sir, is a complete lack of preventative <laughs> uh, maintenance. I'm standing on the wrong side Council of you. Workers don't test Sorry. the poppers anymore. They don't even see them until something electronic goes tits up. Just lucky one of the lads wasn't in there when it decided to become a spanker. So you're waiting for a council worker? I'm not holding my breath. I hope one comes soon because I've got places to be. I wonder how I can get a boiler suit. Right. Boiler suit. Cool. Now let's hurry because I've only got 20 more minutes, I think. I think it's 9 o'clock is when I get the... Uh, is when curfew hits and I need to be off the streets. Because you'll notice that no one else is on the street right now. And I can't take down bobbies very easily, so... Let's find this hatch and get a good night's kip. Ooh. Okay. I like that these are all sort of slightly different. Oh, guys. Well, I suppose there are more lingering ways to go. I need to kill the power. Yeah, there we go. Nine o'clock curfew. Good to know. I've got a damp diary. This is perfectly fine down with it. Monday. Made it this far. The hardest part was continuing to go to work without joy. Saying how daft they all are, but pretending, pretending, pretending to be like them while I made my plans. Oh yes, I'm a great pretender. She was also sure there was a resistance plotting away. Why can't I find them? The celebrated Mr. K says there isn't any such thing. But she was so sure. Is he lying? Doesn't he trust me? I suppose there's no reason for him to do. Will he help? Tuesday. Does she miss me? She's always stiff up a lip, but every now and then one detects a twinge of feeling behind the mask. She'd say, would you like some tea, love? And I could swear she meant more. That's what I meant when I said to... That's what I meant when I said it to her. She never called anyone else, love, and sometimes her hand would linger for just a moment when I handed her the cup. I miss her. I don't miss the rest of the lot. Certainly not that awful Arthur always making googly eyes at me. This is very little... Br How did everyone talk about me? Mr. Kite says to lay low for a bit longer. If I turn off the pump, the water will build up. Then, if there's an intruder, I can just turn the power on. Oh, God, I dreamed V and I were swimming. We swam and swam until we turned around and I couldn't see Wellington Wells anymore. And then we dove for a million fathoms. But then I lost her in the darkness. Friday, no, there's wreck. Two bobbies chased me coming back from the phone booth. Thank God I rake the electricity. They made the most awful sound. I wonder if they had sweethearts. Are some girls missing them right now the way? Or is just, or was someone just popping an extra drawer in trying to forget why? Saturday. More dreams of V even after I woke. I stayed in bed with my eyes closed. So I wouldn't lose the feeling she was with me. I could still go to a mood booth and pretend nothing happened. But I won't. I won't do it. Not even if she meant the way she looked at me. She'd never stray from her appointed path no matter how much she loved anyone. I suppose she mustn't. She's not really English, is she? I wonder if she's really the daughter of a Maharaja. I mustn't let anyone remember her skin is dark and her hair is dark and her eyes. I mustn't think about that. But she stands there like a statue sometimes and she seems like someone out of... Bhagavad Gita, if you take away the yod of hers and the riding suit and put her in robes of silk. Mustn't think about that. Now is the time. Now is it the time to dare and endure, says the old man? Sunday. Nauseated. Cooked Bobby was bad enough, but now it's rotting Bobby. I need a new shout of pronto. Must find out if Kay thinks it's safe to move. Time to leave another message. It's not actually clear whether it's a man or a woman writing this, reading it again. So, but they do know me. It might be. Uh, what was the name of the lady who went on holiday at the beginning of the game and then you found a note uh, Mr. Kite I think is Mr. K okay that's not where I need to go clearly because it's uh, ah there we go that's where I need to go whoop chan it's oh. gonna be sloshy good place for giant octopi I can't turn that back on then Dry or sparkle? Yeah, so that's one way of putting it, isn't it? Uh, is this mine now, then? Ooh! That is an upgrade, isn't it? Let's upgrade this one as well. That's why I'm uh, water filter and banger. Good. And then. Oh, requires chemistry upgrade. Ah, it's a different thing. Okay. So I can't upgrade that one. But I can now make. 
tranquilizer darts. What do I need to make them? Alcohol, rotten apple. Yeah. Seems like a good use of my rotting apples. But now if I can find the switch again, there we I'm go. in business. There we good. go. Now I won't need to cross bridges to get here. And that means I got a way back to the garden. Good. I'm a bit joyed up at the moment though, for my liking, but whatever. Right, Shelder's ass. Let's go and break into the old government. Actually, no, that's the story quest, isn't it? What other quests have we got? Let's. I, I don't want to. I suppose I'm, this is not going to progress me, but what have we got? Let's do this Simon Says quest instead, actually, because uh, that might make my life a bit easier if I can get a medal. So at some point, I ran past this and triggered the next part of the quest and went, oh, there's a downer detector outside his house. I need to find another way in. I don't think this was the house I accidentally went in while I was running away from people. Um, but looking at it, it very well might be. Dex, I came by, but no one was here. I wired up the new security code, but it hasn't been tested. It, but I, I, it hasn't been tested yet. It should be fine. All I need to do is have someone install the new keypads and mount the cord above the door. I slid Mr. Lightbearer's keycard under his back door as instructed. God, that man can sing. Cheers, Sparky. Okay, so I can get a keycard to de I guess deactivate it? the alarm. And that's an apple. Just noticed there's a uh, flying mahickey up there. I think I broke in and went into that house. I need to jump over to go into that house. So I did accidentally almost do this quest. If I'd, if I'd realised what I was doing when I did it, I would have been... I would have been in good stead. Casing the joint. Monday. When does this pigeon leave his house? He never even bloody puts on pants. I've been pretending to point these bricks for days. I'm, no, I notice I haven't moved from this spot. Tuesday. He sleeps like the dead, though, though. Snores too. And thank you for leaving that third floor window open, mate. Every time someone puts it in a tiering system, God opens a window. Finally up, it's two o'clock, you lazy bastard. Someone's been working since dawn. Blimey, that's not his hair. It's a wig. Wish I had a camera to show the lads. If I were rich, I could dance around the house in a ruffled shirt and no pants all day too. Thursday. I wonder if them gold records is real metal. Easy to move, I can melt them down. Lionel hates stuff that's got names on it, but he's got those record collectors in it. They might like it. What's he doing now? Bloody crying and snapping his records in half. Oh, boo-hoo. Is it too hard to be rich and famous and shag all the birds? Papa Joy, you bastard. I should have given that guy more of an accent. Papa Joy, you bastard. You plum. You colossal tit. Ah, and then drop down. Shh. I don't know how I'm supposed to do that a bit quietly, but apparently that that wasn't the way to do it. But whatever. Don't zap me! 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 Barely looks lifted. Dang it! Nick Lightbearer. Okay, so I guess that's what he's supposed to look like. I could just pop a joy, but my joy bar on the top left is getting quite high. What happens if I do trigger the alarm here? Oh! Yeah, okay, he's got spankers all over the place. Uh, okay, question asked, question answered. Good, good, good. Let's not do that again. Pretty sure I also lost the element of surprise there. Ow. Oh, dear. Alright, I'm going to have to leave. I, I clearly don't have... Ah. Okay, good. Am I trapped in here forever now? Ow! I hate this. Right, I'm sure there is a way to get Nick Lightbearer's ID card, because why would they mention that it was slid under the back door if you couldn't? But for the life of me, I can't figure out how to get it, and I've been zapped way too many times to, to care anymore. So, I'm just going to go and buy an electroshock trap from the pawn shop. That seems to be the easiest way to do this. Oh, that's annoying. I thought I could buy a spike, uh, a short electro short thingy at the shop there, but apparently I can't. Can 
Can I? Okay. I can't rub. I can't actually go up and down with the rubber ducky. You're getting on my nerves. Oh, it's a swing. It's a slide. I was climbing to. Much better. Now we can Whee. talk. That seems unfair. I want to get. Stop hogging the pink car. Take down. Okay, you know that seems a bit. I mean, I want to play in the pink car, but I think choking you out is a bit, a bit extreme. This is a different bridge, is it? Hi. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. The bridge is not currently functioning properly. Best come back in a few days. I know. I'm here to see what's wrong. Oh. Are they sending random citizens to make repairs to vital transportation links? Then, <laughs> pull the other one. No, 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 no. Come back in a few days, and the council workers will have this all sorted. Oh, that constable wasn't wrong. They don't seem to be letting anyone across. Lovely day for it. Right as rain, sir. Right as rain. Okay. So I guess that's the thing I need to break into the office for. Uh, okay, good. Oh, we know I, I'm getting an idea of what I'm doing now, kind of. Oh, okay. So, uh, so I get across the door to find Sally's house. That's, we haven't mentioned in any way finding Sally, but I mean, I suppose he's kind of curious about what happened to her. And I'm just finding quests all over. It's hide nearby to observe the lovers. Oh, okay, this is a quest apparently. This is something that Arthur's gone. <gasps> oh, they're not getting on very well, are they? I wonder if I can help him. <laughs> you need to come on a bit strong, if I'm honest. Funny. You smell... important. Yes, I'm a chemist, and I've invented a new cologne. I call it Mojo. It makes you smell like a doctor. You see, Beatrice has always had a soft spot a doctor for doctors. Smell like? And you know how they have that distinctive smell? It's like disinfectant. Mojo makes you smell like that. And it works? Not on Beatrice. Doctors are much nicer to me, but she is not. Have you tried giving her flowers? She only likes night-blooming nonsuches. And where would I get those? In the garden district. Right. Well, good luck then. I have those. <laughs> um, but they're in my stash. <laughs> Annoyingly. Um, right, well, whatever. When I get, next time I go to my stash, I'll try and remember to grab one for you. Couldn't be better, thanks. Oh, hello. Aren't you tall? Yes. I, uh... Oh, I suppose I am a little. There's room for two on this bench, you know. Oh, yes. Well, I suppose I could. To not be so tall and all. I love to come here and read. Do you like books? Yes. yes. Have you heard of Tosser? Who doesn't? I'm, uh... Well, I've been collecting a lot of books recently. Uh, in, the gar in the garden district, if you can imagine. Oh, that's... So brave of you. Ah, oh, they're not really cannibals, you know. You just have to just talk to them. on this guy's girl. Don't they bring you down? Oh, <laughs> well, I suppose they would if I listened. <laughs> you must tell me all about your adventures. I'd love to. I mean, oh, goodness. I have to go see a chap. Do you have to? Oh, I, I sort of have to get back to the parade. Don't know when I'll be back. Hard to make predictions, especially about the future. <laughs> oh, come back any time. I'm not really in a rush. It's not going anywhere. There you are. I can't wait to see how they fixed up Lud Holm. Oh. Hey, crying lady. I, I have noticed there's a mask over there, by the way. Don't worry. All right. I hope the baker comes back from holiday soon. Oh, she's just crying about bread. That's fine. I can understand that. Bread is... Yeah, bread's important. All right, let's look at this mask. Rain. I haven't seen one of these for a while. Percy, you're soaked. I'm fine. You're not. Your lips are blue and you're shivering. Where's your coat? In the closet. Well, why didn't you put it on? I don't know. It's been raining all day. Did you not notice the drops of water falling out of the sky? It... what? It wasn't raining. 
It was drizzling. Now you're going to get sick, and then I'm going to get sick, and then Dad is going to get sick. Okay, that just isn't a short one. They're not really giving me a whole lot of those sort of backstory things. Like, I get it, Percy was a bit slow. That's, that's all of really they're sort of hammering home that point. Like, I suppose it's good if you, you know, if you miss one, or all of them, or only ever get one. Right, so I can't do the light bearer quest, I might as well do this one, but... I have a feeling this might be easy to do after 8 o'clock when everyone disappears off the streets. Is there somewhere I can pass the time? There we go. Now all those people weirdly just teleport out of existence. That's... Couldn't they just keep walking? Okay, that's a weird way of doing it, but whatever. Yoink! Oh, there it is. Uh, am I concealed? Would I be concealed if I dig? That's the important thing. I want to find out. Yes. Uh, concealed enough, anyway. Dearest Peggy, I'm so sorry, darling. Your father wouldn't let me keep your dolly in the house anymore. I know one day I'll walk through our front door. Maybe you'll be too old for your dolly, but I promised I would keep her for you, so I'm burying her next to the tree you so love to climb. Come back to us, darling, won't you? Love, your mum. I finished that quest, and I unlocked a tear-stained dolly along to someone called Peggy. It's a quest item, but it doesn't, I don't have a quest anymore. So I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do with that. But okay. I guess maybe find someone called Peggy. Right, well, it's almost curfew again, so... I suppose I could break into the government building, actually, while I'm here. It's only here, and I'm going to be inside most of the time I'm breaking in anyway, so... You know what? <laughs> Never mind. Next week? Arthur? Oh? Arthur Hastings! Lovely day for it. Don't you lovely day for it me, you idiot? It's me! Sally! Oh, Sally! Oh, I knew it was you. She I is mean, the, the other playable the character. Hair, the really adorable jacket. Don't ask me how. You're not that awkward little boy anymore, are you? But the way you walk, it's, it's like the mask isn't even there. I just, I just knew there's Arthur. Sally? You look... How fantastic. This ancient thing. I've had it two weeks. I'm out of my mind with boredom. Green and white checked. Your dress, the last time I saw you. Running out the door. <laughs> oh, that horrible gingham dress. Oh, God, that takes you back. For ten years oh. and they immediately identify, recognise each other. You're off your joy. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Oh, you have little fucking faith. I'm not going to turn you in. Whatever possesses you to go off your joy? Percy. Oh, God. I saw a picture of him. I promised I'd look after him in Germany. I have to go and find him. How are you going to get out? Do you even have a letter of transit? Absolutely. On my desk in the city. <laughs> Good Christ. Just tell the policeman that. I'm sure they'll wave your right on through. Yeah. Haven't figured that bit out yet. I'm very close with General Bing. Of course you are. No. <laughs> you always did have a knack for making helpful new friends. I mean, I could go see him and ask him to give you a letter of transit. Don't put the general out on my account. I'm sure you've only so many favours you can ask of him. My God. You still hate me, don't you? Yeah, well, I've only been wondering for the past 14 years. We were 16! How could you? Because I liked him. Because he had that adorable beard. I don't know. There isn't a reason for everything. You're the last bloody person who should be off his joy. I can't believe you are. Believe me. Take enough stuff. Look. Some downer broke into my lab last week. Literally tore the bars off the windows. And the ridiculous thing is I forgot to lock the front door. Point is... It's a horrible, terrible world out there. I just don't see you smashing your way into the city without a great deal of help. Oh, no. Uh, I have me. murdered several people. It's worth mentioning. I'm living on the like, King's Road. It's in right the now. double digits now. Of course now. you are. I couldn't exactly have stayed there, could I? Like, nothing happened. <sighs> Look. I'm sorry. This isn't what I meant to... <sighs> Maybe we could help each other. Maybe I could come by when I'm feeling... better? Brilliant. 
So I, I really, I do, I think... You ass. How about going to the King's Road, knocking on her door and apologising grievously? And asking nicely for a letter of transit. She knows General Bing. Oh. Damn it, lads! She's Scarper! Oh! But what have we here? A friend of Miss Boyle's, isn't okay, it? Okay, I'm just killing Funny. people now. You I mean, I'm not yet, but I, I imagine I will say. have to murder these gentlemen Perhaps in a second. Perhaps we can express our feelings about Miss Boyle to her friend. Yeah. Oh, what a damn you! Wet blanket! Ow! Take a fight with me. Look, I don't even want to be here. Right. Well, that, that took off. Um, so yes, I, so now I know now why I need to go and see Sally. I think I did that out of order slightly. Because uh, I was like, again, I don't know where... I didn't uh, Up until that point, I didn't know where Sally lived. So, but yeah, I think very much when I get to do Ollie and Sally sections, I will have to... It will just basically be at the same time as me doing Arthur's sections. So it was like the story was, was kind of overlapped. So like I'll be playing as Sally and then Arthur will walk through the door there. Which is cool because it means I'll get to see Arthur. Because it's like, at the moment I'm just a disembodied voice. I know kind of what he looks like just from trailers and stuff. But still. Uh, escape the Ploughboys. Um... Do I really need to? Look, I, I escaped them. Nah, nah, what's all the scuffle? You've been having an altercation in the alley? Mm. Uh, nothing you need to worry about, Constable. I'll, uh, just be on my way. And where is it you're on your way to? Precisely. Just off to see an old friend on St. George. Oh, well. No need to be in such a hurry. The bridge to St. George is, uh, under renovations. Yeah. Oh. For how long? I hesitate to prognosticate, sir. Dr. Faraday's the only one who knows how to fix the uh, ridiculous contraptions on them bridges. Word has been sent, but we've not had the courtesy of a reply. Why don't you, uh... I don't know. Uh, go to Dr. Faraday's house? Because Dr. F has removed to a secret location, the, uh, location which headquarters keeps, uh, uh secret. Right. All right. I'll ask your headquarters then. You some kind of troublemaker. Stay out of city business. I suppose if I want to go and make up with Sally, I need to get Dr. Faraday to come fix his bridge. Right. So I need to visit police headquarters and find out where he's gone. Not risky at all. Cool. It's always a oh. little extra complicated with Sally, isn't it? Yes. Good. I I, I forgot that I would be. Uh, yeah. It's. Oh, I love a game of hide and seek. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, I forgot that it was. Um... Can I just wait in here? Can I just wait until morning? I'll just sleep in. Sleep in the bin, it's fine, isn't it? Isn't it fine? You really need to go. Are you, are you gone? Nope. Oh. He's really determined to find me. There we go. Knob. Right. Yeah, I kind of forgot that uh, it'd be after curfew. By the time I got out of, uh, out of there, I, I should have thought that through, really. I actually made it back to my hatch without being spotted by anyone. There's actually not many, not that many bobbies on the street at night. Um, it's, like, it's quite a bit easier to sneak around than I thought it was. Okay, but, um, still, let's not push my luck, eh? Right, I made some good progress today. Uh, got away, got to the village. We met Sally. And uh, I got an ass load of quests to work on my way through, so that's good. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll I'll try and sort of crack on, crack on with them next time with a bit more, a bit more determination. Now I've got now I've got my head around the village and how joy works. I still don't quite know what happens when my joy bar goes all the way up to top. I don't know if it told me that. I'll double check. 
I think it does go down, but I might see if there's a way to get that to go down quicker. Um, but anyway, we'll worry about that next time. Uh, got some tea. Oh no, it's got joy in it. I'm not going to have some tea. I'm just going to... I'm going to read this sign. Lovely. Look what I found. Down up. No, you can't get to me. I'm... Found you. No, you didn't. I'm hiding. Get out of there. Oh, no, he's got grenades. 